Hey there, Shooby Doodlers, and let's see what we have this week. And this is a unicorn, because I don't know what it is. It's a unicorn, <laughs> Catalin. <laughs> and flowering watercolors by Lottie H4. That is gorgeous, Lottie. And I love, yes, I love, I love the way the flowers kind of up at the top. And this great big stalk, huge big green stalk. Love that. Smiling tree in watercolors by Lottie H4. That's fabulous as well, Lottie. So I put your globe and the retro rocket in one picture. Fabulous. I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, this is also my version of your scary eyeball on paint for Windows 7 by Alia H8. Fantastic. Look at all this lovely blood dripping off the edge there. Mm. <laughs> Uh, this is my dragon from that tutorial on it a while ago. Done it in Paint for Windows 7. Alia, okay to quit on the show. Here we are. Great. Frankenstein Monster in Colour. Drawn by Steph Hardy 88. I have some art videos on my channel as well. Go and have a look, everyone. That's nice and very green. <laughs> and the nice bats. They're very fluid bats. They're very fluid, aren't they? Yeah, I think it's these little curls on the end that makes them... They're almost like manta rays, aren't they? They've got that, the way the manta rays kind of swoop through the ocean. Yeah. Hey, it's Gareth. Everybody is wondering who's going to be the next doctor, but I already know. <laughs> Here we have, uh, this is my character, the Ginger Ninja, is going to be the next Doctor Who. It's not official yet, but um, Gareth seems to know. <laughs> Thanks, Gareth. <laughs> hey, it's Gareth. I drew this with a ballpoint pen, but I got bored. That's great. That's really special. Spiky, isn't it? It's kind of almost like a thorn tree, isn't it? Yeah. Great. That's great. I know it's just grass, but I'm very proud of it. It's it's a really good thing to do. Um, kind of, it's an exercise, isn't it, really? And a lot of people would start that and get bored and give up. Uh, but it's really good to really do that and complete the whole thing. And I'm just looking at this, and I'm almost imagining each one of these as being a person. You put little... If you kind of think of the sharks, you could either put two little eyes on each side or, or in the middle and then a little kind of mouth there and you could turn them into kind of a crowd of shark people or something. Nice. I drew the owl you did quite a while back. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It was a while back I did that, yeah. And hey, I'm Maria. This is my first watercolour of a sea turtle based on one of your videos. Hope you like it. I do. It's gorgeous. By the way, could you delete the first one of this? I forgot to add the description. I did that. What I really like here is you've really got this kind of shade down on, on these sides and the highlights on there. So it really does give a real 3D standing out effect. And the same here. It's really nicely done. Uh, this is a random ugly crow XD. And <laughs> this is Cat Heart on YouTube. I'm nine. You should see my drawings on paper. They are better. Well, let's see them. And why can't basis tell jokes timing? Oh, timing, yes. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Hi, Shu, I just finished my degree in illustration. I thought you might like this card I just sent to my uncle in Australia. He just made his own bass guitar. Gorgeous. I've been meaning I've been mean to do a Hofner bass guitar uh, drawing for quite a while, but uh, just never got around it. That's really nice. And and I know when I did my guitars, then people would complain. They go, "Oh, you know, it's not straight lines and things." And I don't think it has to be straight lines. It's kind of the the feel and the effect of the thing, and you really got that now. Nice. Watching your videos reignited my love for drawing for fun. Well, that's fantastic. I went into art school aspiring to be an illustrator, but alas, my school only had drawing and painting. I got horrid at abstract painting and such. So I switched to metal smithing and jewellery and I'm quite happy I did. But I've hated drawing since then. Oh, thanks for reminding me how fun it is. Yeah, and, and I think you can, um, I'm sure drawing must help, you know, designing, uh, you know, metal smith work and stuff like that. That's fab, love beautiful, you know, ocean here, beautiful waves, aren't they? Yeah, nice. Uh, then try drawing a chameleon, half inspired by your how-to. Should have sticked a bit close to your design, I think. Where is his ballet? Yeah, yeah. But no, you won't even know that because you drew it. Most people would not would never notice there was a back leg missing. People don't really count things like that. And then it, 25 years later, they've been looking at it on their wall for 25 years ago. Wait a minute. 
Rhino inspired by Albrecht Durer's print and your video trying to draw it from memory. I cheated a bit, drew in pencil from memory and then looked at it again before inking in watercolour. That's okay. Nice. It's a really complicated thing, isn't it? And all these different patterns and stuff. Great. Uh, I've got a feeling that's upside down. Somehow. Oh, no, it's not. Those are the wheels. Somehow I ended up drawing a car. Okay. Yes. I can see that. A T clip. Oh, I like that. That's got a real kind of movement. And I love all these hundreds and hundreds of sails going up there, like a great ladder of sails. Uh, so I drew a captain's desk with his map, his money, and his gun. There's the map. Is it Chinese money? Is that Chinese money? Yeah. And the gun. The gun. I'm not sure. Where's the gun? Is this the gun? Oh, there. Anyway, nice. And I think, have you used that kind of blobby paper again, where the, the ink sort of goes blobby in it? I tried doing something original. Oh, and I almost forgot to put in my age. So I'm nine years old. Uh, yes, I watched Doctor Who at the age of nine. I mean, I started at seven. It's okay. That's cool. Civil War. I think I, I did do a cannon thing. I didn't. Did I do them firing? I did. Mm, I did a kind of a cannon thing. I must do. Yeah. I'll remember that. Something Civil War and cannony like that. A broken road using my pen, Hugo. That's a good uh, good perspective drawing lesson kind of thing, isn't it? And then, yes, and these bits of grass should get smaller and smaller the first they go in the distance, that's right. And again, then these white stripes should get shorter and shorter and shorter. Cool. And that almost looks like a photograph <laughs> it doesn't say who it's from <laughs> the grim reaper Pratyash. that's cool yeah oh i like the lightning coming down <laughs> looks like you have fun doing that and and there we go so that's all from this week and uh, i hope you enjoyed looking at all of those <laughs>